Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create monitoring display such as radar, GPS map, and several web signals with Crypt Studio Figure 2. Then I animate them to make some cool result. The purpose of monitoring display is to measure or display some data on the screen. It will have some measurement scale to present the data that correct from instrument, such as radar or GPS. You may find the reference from the internet, or if you want to design your own interface. You may need to know how the instrument works and which data they collect. For example, the radar system will rotate, send signal, and catch some reflection, so it will provide real-time position and distance of the object in its range. However, we may already get used to some interface, such as GPS, without needing to know how it works because we already use this in daily life. The more best knowledge for design is the more realistic your interface can be. Let's start with the radar. To draw the display with Figure 2, the grid is important. It will help you draw in correct alignment, position, and ratio. Show the grid. Go to Wheel, Grid. The default setting for Crip Studio, grid is in grey color, which may confuse your eye when you work with dark background. Go to File, Preference. In Ruler Unit, you can edit the grid color. And Opacity of the grid. Setting the grid size by the menu, Wheel, Grid and Ruler setting. Set the grid start point to center, we move the zero position of the ruler to the middle of the image. Give a bit large gap, we make it easier to work with. Let's start with the angle measure scale. Create a new vector layer. In sub 2 figure, select ellipse. Enable the snap to grid. Start dragging the circle from one grid corner. You can easily see if the circle is aligned to the grid when the top and the left edge is at zero point on the ruler. Then, draw another circle in more inner grid. This will allow you to make circle with equal gap space. I also give smaller space for more inner circle. Adjust the line width with object tool, click on the line and edit the brush size in the tool property panel. I will divide the scale at 10 degrees step. Start from 90 degree scale, then 30 degrees, and then 10 degrees. Circle gap will also display the distance number and the sweeper for scanning. To draw this scale, create a new vector layer and draw a circle over the area. You can hold shift key to fix the circle ratio. This circle will be used for rotate object around the center of the image. Draw a vertical and horizontal line for 90 degree scale with marker or straight line in figure sub 2. Copy the layer and create free transform. Ctrl T. In the tool property panel, set the rotation angle to 30. Press Enter to commit. Copy the layer and repeat the step. You will get 30 degrees scale now. Merge the layers together and repeat the steps, but put the degree to 10. You can change light width and color by selecting the layer with object tool. And about the vector eraser in hard eraser sub 2 and erase the unwanted lines. You can also rotate the layer around the center of rotation with selection tool. Draw the selection and create free transform. Here I rotate 5 degree for smaller scale. If you want to extend the line, you can copy the layer, create free transform, and change its size. Make sure the change line width is unchecked.
For the number, you can put the circle in a layer. And to rotate, select the number layer and circle layer together, create free transform, then rotate it. Group the layer and move it together will save your time. If you merge the text layer together, it will be a group of text that still allow you to edit the text later. For the radar sweeper, create a new raster layer. In the two property panel, set the entire area sync to none. Draw a circle with white color in the radar area. Convert it into object fire. Right click on the layer, fire object. Convert layer to fire object. Save the file. Then open the file object. Setting the grid to see the center of the circle. Lock the transparent. Use the straight line sub tool. Set the brush size to 1 and entire area sync to none. Select the minus 95% gray and draw a line from the center of the circle. Then select minus 50% gray and create another line that makes some degree to the first line. Repeat the step with lighter gray color. Then go to Freeform Gradient Subtool. Use the normal point tool and set the tolerance to 0. And click to fill the gradient in the area. The Freeform Gradient tool will create gradient using the color of two lines. It's necessary to set the entire area sync to the line and the circle for the correct result. There is also a preset for more lighter color ratio. Or you can edit the gradient amount in Option, Output Setting. Fill all the area and you can notice there is dark and light area on the circle. The light area will be the lightest gray tone we make the line. Go to Edit, Tonal Correction, Brightness Contrast. Add more brightness to make the area become white. Use the Polyline Selection tool to create a selection across the darkest and the lightest area. Draw selection on opposite part and erase it. Then go to Edit and Convert Brightness to Opacity. You will get the transparent gradient for radar sweeper. Save the file and go back to the main file. It will show on the canvas automatically. Change the layer color. Select the color and put it in the layer effect panel. This file object method will allow you to rotate the radar sweeper around the center of the image. Create a vector layer and draw the object icon with polyline tools on the grid. Then copy and paste it with object tool. It will not create new layer for each object. Change the color with object tools and your radar is ready. For the GPS map, draw a map and align it with the grid. Draw a rectangle on a vector layer to make the frame border. Then draw the grid on another vector layer. You can draw it with rectangle tool or polyline tool. Create rectangle selection a bit larger than the frame border. Then Ctrl Shift I to inverse the selection and delete unwanted area. You can hold shift and select multiple lines with object tool. Adjust this size. Cut and pass them on new vector layer. I make some line more transparent to make the grid look more clean. Add numbers on the scale tool. For the map, 
I draw the highlight area first with Resto Fill tool. It will snap to the grid and make the pixel look. Then I draw the rest area on another layer. Set both layer opacity down, so you can easily see the difference on the map. For the sound wave, I create it with the brush. Select the texture brush and in sub 2 detail panel, disable the entire area scene. Set the gap to fixed gap. And in brush tip tap, on angle option, disable random value and set the angle to 90 degree. On thickness option, enable the random option. This will create a very easy sound wave brush. Go to Brush Shape tab and register the brush to the preset. Don't forget to create a copy of the brush for later use and reset the texture pen brush. Create a new vector layer. Use Polyline Sub 2 to make a line. Click on Grid to create some control points. And double click to finish the line drawing. Select the line with object tool and change the brush shape to the brush we create. Now you can adjust the wave by adjusting light width tool in correct line sub tool. Use the scale up or scale down mode and make sure the process whole line is unchecked. For the sine wave, create a new luster layer, select the Bezier Curve tool, set the entire area sync to 0, then click on a grid point and drag to the next vertical line. Release the mouse button and click on the line in lower position. Then click on the next vertical line, the same distance of the start point to the middle point and drag vertically the same as the start point and double click to finish the draw delete the small pixel on both ends of the line then convert the layer to image material layer or file object select the line with object tool and enable tiling set the mode to reverse and repeat vertically you can disable the keep aspect ratio and adjust the frequency. To make it fit in the frame, create rectangle selection and mask outside selection. When it's done, put all the layer into one folder. Copy it with Ctrl C and pass it on the main image with Ctrl V. To adjust its position, click on the folder and create free transform. Change the mode to scroll will allow you to share the image. Arrange the interface together and it's done. To make the animation of various files, you must create a timeline with the same setting for each file. Here I use 8 frames per second and 24 playback time is compatible with Crypt Studio Pro version. Let's start with the radar sweeper. Select the layer and enable layer keyframe. Set the new keyframe mode to linear interpolation. Then add a keyframe at the beginning and the end of the timeline. Use object tool and click on the last keyframe. Set the rotation angle to minus 360. Shift the keyframe a bit back to remove time gap between the loop. And here is the result. It's very easy. To make growing object when the radar is sweep over, create a circle like we did to the sweeper, but add gradient area a bit larger. Blur it a bit. Go to filter. Blur, Gaussian Blur. Convert the layer to image material or fire object. Then set the layer color, 
Repress the right area with darker color. Create a selection from the layer of our symbol. And right click on the new gradient layer, layer mask, and mask outside selection. Hide the original symbol layer. Create the animation with the same rotation angle as in the radar sweeper. Make sure you are active on layer object, not the mask, by clicking on the layer thumbnail. And it's done. For the GPS, I add zooming focus by drawing a circle, convert it to image material layer, Enable the layer keyframe. At the first frame, resize the circle to be larger than the frame border. And resize it to smaller in the last keyframe. Then create a selection at the border. Right click on the circle layer and mask outside selection. For the sound wave, Create a new animation folder and put the wave line inside. Assign it to the timeline by right click and select the layer. Use the adjust line width to with fixed width mode and process the whole line to reset the line. Rename the layer to 01 and copy the frame. Assign it to the timeline and use scale up and scale down mode to adjust the line. Make sure the process whole line is unchecked in this process. Repeat the step for other keyframe and it's done. For the sine wave, you may see the repetition of the wave. Enable the layer keyframe, create first keyframe, and shift the wave to the repetition point on the last keyframe. To put things together, go to File, Import File as File Object. Then adjust the position with Object Tool. You must delete the paper layer to make it look transparent. For the screen look, check my tutorial about making the hologram. The link is in the video description. I hope you get some idea for some useful adaptation of Ficker tool. If you need help, you can find me on my Discord server. The link is in the video description. Stay safe and enjoy animating.